So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, uh, we're going to see how we can do a simulation of LED directly in RGIS Pro. So this is available in the newer version of an RGIS Pro. Let me show you that. So navigate to this option called settings. And in that, this is the newer version, RGIS Pro 3.3. So now I'm going to create a new temporary map. Uh, or uh, if you want to do it as a directly as a local scene, click this option called local scene. So now I'm going to click this option called start without a template. So now we'll navigate to this option uh, here in the insert section here. And in that, we're going to click this option called new map. And in that, we're going to click this option called new local scene. So now it's loading the new local scene here. And now I'm going to explore my study area here. Let me navigate to this particular study area. So this is my study area where I'm going to do a flood simulation for this. Uh, so we're going to navigate to this option here in the analysis section. And in that, uh, we're going to click this option called uh, simulation. So let me uh, select this particular uh, simulation called rainfall. Add a flood simulation layer with a heavy shower to the map. So let me click this. So now here you can able to visualize this is an Adaya river in the study area called Chennai here. So in the bottom, we have a different tool that is available for our flood simulation. So this is uh, this particular tool is called specify a simulation area by clicking a center location and a distance from it. So the second option is uh, oriented uh, rectangle. So specify the simulation area by sketching a rectangle. So let me click this. So once you did that, we're going to Create a rectangle over this part of this uh, river basin that is uh, Adia River. So let me draw this. So I'm going to create an uh, oriented rectangle over this uh, river called Adia. So now I have uh, created the boundary for our simulation here. You can able to see that. So yellow color uh, outline here indicates our, our simulation uh, study area. So, uh, so you can also adjust your study area just by dragging to this option here. So now we're going to reduce this particular width here. And similarly, to reduce the width in this portion of the area, so navigate to this uh, circle option here and uh, place your cursor over it and let me reduce the area here. So you're going to reduce the width for width of this uh, particular study area. So once you have defined your study area, so navigate to this option called uh, Create a, create a simulation in area. So click this option. So now here you can able to visualize our study area. So this is our simulation area. So basically it's already created the created a simulation study area for our uh, this particular flood simulation. So once you have defined your simulation area, now navigate to this option called simulation. And here you can able to visualize there is a duration that is available here. So here you can able to set the duration of the, your rainfall and amount of rainfall. So let me set my duration of rainfall. Uh, now let me uh, select the duration of rainfall to be around 10 minutes. So now I have entered my duration of rainfall to be around 10 minutes. And let me select the rainfall uh, amount. So for now we're going to uh, create a rainfall amount to be around 200 millimeter. So now here you can able to visualize it. So we have created the amount of rainfall to be around 200 millimeter. So the next set of options is the evaporation rate. So the amount of water that evaporates per hour, you can also set your uh, evaporation rate accordingly. So once you set, uh, set this option, uh, now click this. So you can click this option called Run Simulation. So before that, let me add a base map to this particular uh, simulated area. Let me navigate to this option called Map. So once you navigate to the Map section here, we're going to navigate to this option called Base Map. And in that, uh, we're going to click this uh, map called uh, the light gray canvas. Let me click this. So now uh, currently we are visualizing our uh, light gray canvas. So now here you can able to clearly visualize it. So once you've added your base map, now navigate to this option called simulation here. And uh, we have set our duration of our rainfall to be around 10 minutes and uh, rainfall amount to be around 200 millimeter. So now click this option called uh, run simulation. So it's going to capture the, all the elevation values. 
So from here, you can able to observe the simulation here. So currently, it has run the simulation to be around a minute. So slowly, we're going to visualize all the water here. So now here, you can able to visualize uh, the simulation here. So now you can able to see. So this is the Adyar uh, River here. This particular uh, river is located in Chennai. So the simulation ran to be around uh, nine minutes and uh, thirty seconds. So the simulation has run here, so we can able to see. So ten minutes. So now let me zoom into this part of the areas here. So you can able to visualize the. So now to view it in a three D uh, view here. So we're gonna cl click and hold the the scroll button, new mouse, and uh, we're gonna use our uh, mouse to view it in a three D. So now uh, let's take a look at the aerial view of this flood simulation here. So now here you can able to visualize the study areas aerial view here. So you can uh, able to notice in this part of the areas here. So there is a uh, road link here which uh, kind of blocks this uh, flood uh, areas here. So we're going to use the several uh, tools that is available in the simulation tool here so first is uh, add an open channel element into the current flood simulation so you can uh, add an open channel to this current flood simulation you can click this option called channel and now well, let me add a channel to this uh, area here so now we're gonna add the diameter to be around 50 meters so now click apply the channel to the simulation area and similarly, I'm going to add another uh, channel here. So I'm going to click this option here. And I'm going to click uh, here to, to create a new channel. Similarly, I'm going to add uh, diameter to be around 50 meters and apply the ch uh, channel to the simulation area. And similarly, in certain part of the areas have a similar. Uh, so here I'm going to add a, a channel here. So now to create a channel, we're going to left click here and here and uh, double click to finish your uh, channel and uh, you can uh, click this option called apply to apply the channel to this particular area and similarly, suppose you want to delete your channel here, so I have created a channel but I want to delete this so you can click this option called uh, clear the channel path. So now we have managed to create a channel in our study area. You can able to see that the orange uh, orange color here indicates our channel. And now let me add a different base map to my uh, this particular simulation. So navigate to the map section and we're going to click this option called uh, base map. And in that we're going to select this uh, a base map called imagery. So now we have managed to add a new base map to our simulation. So now navigate to the simulation section here. And here, the next set of options that is our water source. So to add, it's add a water source element into our current flood simulation layer. And uh, next set of option is this our barrier. So it adds a barrier element into the current flood simulation. So for example, let me click this option called barrier option. So let me navigate to this particular area here. Suppose I want to protect this part of the protect this part of the areas. So I'm going to add a barrier here. Let me add that. So now I'm creating a barrier to protect uh, this particular uh, settlements here during the flood time. So uh, to finish this barrier, you're going to double click. So now you can able to see that. Likewise, you can add a barrier element into your flood simulation. And uh, you can add your barrier height to height here. So I'm going to add my barrier height to be around 7 meters. So we have, we have the barrier height to be around 5 meters. 
and uh, you can select the width uh, according to your choice. Uh, I have made the width to be around 1 meter. So now to apply this, uh, click, uh, the, click this option. So now here you can able to visualize the barrier color here. It's, uh, it's get it highlighted in yellow. You can able to see that. And similarly, I could like to protect this part of the areas too. So, but I'm going to add my barrier. So, uh, I'm going to click this option called barrier here. So, I'm going to create my barrier over this part of the areas. You can able to see that. So, during the flood time, uh, uh, its barrier will be very helpful in protecting the, this part of this uh, settlements here. So, now to finish this barrier, double click. So, you can select your height and width of this barrier. And now we're going to apply this, uh, apply the barrier to the simulation area. And now we can able to see that it's get highlighted in yellow color. You can able to see that. And now uh, we're going to run our simulation here. But uh, in this time, we're going to run our simulation to another. And now we're going to adjust our rainfall amount to be around 100 uh, millimeter. So you can also add your evaporation uh, per hour here, evaporation rate. And now navigate to this option called uh, configuration simulation configure simulation so in the configure simulation uh, here you can able to uh, see that starting uh, water level so you can add your water depth raster here so suppose if you have any uh, uh, water depth raster you can add here the starting water level so the next set of option is our infiltration raster so that is infiltration rate unit per hour so there is a several uh, different uh, layers of being available here so the impervious layer has an infiltration of zero and the barren uh, dry sand has infiltration of around 125 and similarly the forest width uh, loom has an infiltration rate of eight eight of that is eight unit per hour and similarly the grass wet uh, sandy loom has a 15 units per hour of infiltration so the unit here defines the millimeter that is the grass wet sandy loom has a, a 15 millimeter per, per hour of infiltration but from my study area, it is mostly is for urban area, so uh, it's going to select my impervious surface has infiltration of zero. So you can able to visualize us from the satellite image. The most of my study area is contained of urban settlements. So I'm going to select this particular option called impervious surface. And next, uh, the maximum infiltration. You can select there is an options here. So you can also select the maximum amount of infiltration for the simulation. So I'm going to select this particular option called impervious surface of zero, uh, zero millimeter per hour of uh, infiltration. So I'm going to select it as zero. And so the units are for infiltration raster and maximum infiltration raster. You can select your units of your choice here. So we have in millimeter. So uh, the both the infiltration raster and maximum infiltration are in millimeters. And suppose if you have a water depth raster, you can also add your water depth raster to this uh, here in this uh, option that is water depth raster and also the units that is available you can start from a millimeter to uh, meters and similarly in the duration section here the rainfall rate here I'm gonna split this so we're gonna split again so for the first 30 minutes it's gonna be around uh, so we're gonna split my duration and rate so uh, first the first first 30 minutes the rate of uh, rainfall it's gonna be around uh, 70 millimeter of rainfall and in the second 15 minutes uh, it's going to be around uh, 20 uh, millimeters and last at uh, last 15 minutes it's going to be around 10 uh, 10 millimeters so once your simulation has configured uh, make sure that you apply this option here so now we navigate to this option here in the simulation and now we can able to able visualize the duration is around uh, one hour and now click this option called uh, run simulation so it is capturing the elevation values here so now we can able to visualize the water started to come up here we can able to see in this part of the areas here so all the blue color here indicates the water and these are our channels and now let me navigate to our barriers here so this is our barrier so currently the simulation has run around 11 minutes 
So now the simulation has run to around 21 minutes here. You can able to see that. So the first 30 minutes, the rainfall amount to be around uh, it's uh, 80, uh, 70 millimeter. And the next 15 minutes, the rainfall is to be around 20 uh, millimeter. And last 10, uh, 10 minutes, it's going to be around uh, 10 millimeter of rainfall. So now here you can able to visualize it is uh, 70 millimeter of rainfall for first 30 minutes. And after that, it's going to be around 20 millimeter. So now here you can able to visualize here after 30 minutes, the rainfall amount is to be around 20 uh, millimeter. So according to the simulation configuration we have set earlier. So now we can able to view that. So we can able to view the entire study area. So now the simulation is at 54 or 52 minutes. So now the rainfall amount is around to be around 10 millimeter per hour. So now our simulation has run uh, completely. You can able to see that and it's around one hour. So let me navigate to our barrier sections here. So you can able to see that the barriers are clearly able to protect uh, this part of the area uh, from the flood. Uh, so if we are from the simulation, you can able to see that the, this particular barrier has managed to protect this part of the study areas. So once you ran your simulation, uh, you can able to see from this content section here, we managed to create a water depth raster. So now uh, let me add a different base map to it. So you can able to view it uh, in the 3D here. So once you manage to create a flood raster, so navigate to this option called analysis report, analysis uh, result. And now here, you can able to visualize, you can export the simulation. So uh, the water level, uh, it includes the following uh, detail, uh, details, the water depth, the water absolute height, and water velocity. So now navigate to the folder location where you could like to save this uh, uh, simulation uh, layer here. So navigate to the folder location where you could like to save this and uh, and now click OK. So now to export this flood layer, we're going to click this option called export. So it's going to export our flood layer to our folder location. So now it is exporting our flood layer here. So now uh, we have managed to export our flood layer. So now I have navigated to the folder location where I have saved my so we have managed to export a flood layer. So first we have water absolute height and followed by we have water depth and last we have our water velocity. So basically this folder here we have the project with this image that we have, uh, that we have used in our flood simulation. And here we have our raster of our flood and we have three different uh, layers here. One is our absolute height and followed by water depth and water velocity. So let me get back to RGIS Pro. And last, let me show you one more thing here. Suppose you want, if you want to change the color palette of this uh, water depth raster here, so you're going to click this. So now a window pop up saying uh, symbology flood layer. So here you can choose your different color scheme for your water depth raster here. So uh, you can choose a variety of colors here. So let me select this particular color. So now you can able to view that. And similarly, let me select another color. So now you can able to visualize it. So in this video, we have uh, created a flood simulation for RDR River Basin and we have managed to export our flood layer in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.